Welcome. In this video, we are going to learn the following aspects in relative valuation. First, the type of equity valuation multiples. Second, the types of data needed and its sources. Third, how to calculate and organize valuation data. Fourth, how to calculate valuation multiples. And finally, how to calculate relative equity value. And we are going to use Facebook as our illustrative example. What are the types of equity valuation multiples? There are several types of equity valuation multiples, such as PE, that is the price to earnings per share, PS, that is the price to sales per share, PB, that is the price to book value per share, and PFCFE, that is the price to free cash flow per share, and so on. Now, what type of data do we need for this purpose? Since our objective is to value equity, we need to collect data relating to equity valuation multiples for all the peer companies. Here we have some of the common multiples. We have the price to earnings per share, price to sales per share, price to book value of equity per share, and price to free cash flow per share. Now, in our equation, we have first the numerator. We can see that the numerator is the same for all equity multiples. That is the most current share price. Therefore, equity multiples are also called price multiples. Denominators. The choice of denominator depends on the type of multiples we intend to apply. For example, earnings per share if we intend to apply the price earnings multiple. Sales per share if we intend to apply the price to sales multiple. And free cash flow per share if we intend to use the price free cash flow multiple and so on. For a more accurate evaluation, it is recommended that we use several multiples, not just one. In our Facebook case, we will use earnings per share and sales per share only for the purpose of evaluation. How do we organize data? Data should be compiled and organized in a way that allows ease comparison of metrics. In the data compilation table, the columns are expected to include the following important data. The company name or ticker, the share price, market capitalization, enterprise value, sales and earnings, depending on the objective of valuation. The use of spreadsheet may be useful. Here is how we can organize data for Facebook and its peers. We have two categories of data as follows. First, we have the market data. And the market data, price is the most current share price. Market capitalization can be used to calculate the number of common shares outstanding by dividing it with share price. We need this for estimating earnings per share and sales per share. Enterprise value can be used in some cases if we intend to estimate firm value. The main sources of market data are stock markets. Second, we have financial performance data. In this illustration, we use only the two common equity multiples, that is earnings per share and sales per share. In some cases, we may need more columns if we prefer to use more metrics, such as equity book value per share and free cash flow per share. The primary source of financial data are financial statements, which can be accessed from companies' websites or from other secondary sources like Yahoo Finance, MSCN Business, Reuters, Bloomberg, and so on. How do we calculate valuation multiples. After compilation of data, we can now calculate the multiples. This is the simplest task because it only involves 
simple calculations based on the collective data. We can extend the data spreadsheets to include the multiples. In our cases, we add two columns, a column for price to sales and a column for price to earnings. We also include key statistics for the purpose, that is the mean and the median. These are our peer benchmarks. How do we calculate equity value now? Depending on the purpose of valuation, we usually use the peer benchmark, that is the average and median. In our case of Facebook and its peers, we use peer averages of price to sales, that is 5.6, and price to earnings, that is 5.6. The formula for equity price for company are first, for sales multiple, average price to sales is 5.6 multiplied by sales per share of a company. For earnings multiple, average price to earnings, that is 5.78 multiplied by earnings per share of a company. To conclude, Valuation does not end with just calculating these equity values. It is not about numbers, but also reasonable judgment. For instance, we have two different values here. One hundred sixty-seven point two three dollars based on sales multiples, and thirty-five point six three dollars based on earnings multiples. The question is, which one should we use to make our conclusion? For a more meaningful valuation, we need to make a careful inspection of the estimated values before we make a reasonable conclusion. This is one of the most important tasks in evaluation, which is going to be demonstrated subsequently.